I can't believe Helen Mirren is rubbing her feet up against me right now. Like the girl next door, you know, she's just like one of the sweetest people, you, you know, you meet and just so loving and, and caring and always uh, I always wanted to kind of bring like little gifts and stuff like that to everybody on set. You know, I always think of just Jesse as just my like, she's just like a little tomboy sister, you know? Yeah, she was always just like my little tomboy sister. She was, you know, kind of, kind of just like that. Julie McCoy, she's the cruise director of, of Seventh Heaven. Having to do like a scene where she, Helen Mirren's flirting with me and she's rubbing her toes up against my legs. And I'm like, I can't believe Helen Mirren is rubbing her feet up against me right now. It's, it's, it's Helen Mirren. I can't remember if she directed that uh, um, or he told her to do that or not. I think it was just part of the scene where, you know, she decided to try to like, get on my good side and seduce me so yeah well i don't think this is a surprise to know about jill but she is truly an angel i truly believe we were talking about angels before she's one of the angels that's crossed my path you know and hopefully i get to cro keep crossing paths with her um in the future she's truly an angel but um she had this one night we always have like we always have like, um, this has popped in my head, we always have these late nights, you know, on sets where it's like a Friday and you go into work and it's a Saturday morning. And I think it was just like one of those long days and we were working at like three in the morning into Saturday and everybody had the giggles because we've been up so late and everybody has to wear masks on set. And so, you know how it is now with everybody wearing masks, you know, I mean, I can see you, but like, I don't know what the bottom half of people's faces look like, really. You can, you, but you imagine it now. You've gotten used yes. to going, okay, oh, your eyes. I bet this is what they look like. So Jill sort of had like, took everybody out and outside and made everybody drop their masks. And this was like a few weeks into shooting where we thought we knew what everybody looked like. And it was like, Oh my God, that's what you look like. And we were just, so we started, we were already giddy anyway. So we just got even more giddy, just laughing so hard at people we didn't even know had mustaches or whatever it was. And so that was just, that was probably one of the longest days, but one of the funniest days as well. And it was all created by, by Jill making everybody pull their mask down, which I'm hopefully we won't get in trouble about through, through, the, through the production. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, Raquel, 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 um, <laughs> she, it was amazing because she's Raquel Welch. So mm -hmm. it was like, every time I'd work with her, I'd be like, it, it would be hard to kind of stay in it, the scene, because I'm like, that's Raquel Welch. I mean, like, it's Raquel Welch. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I was, uh, she, sometimes she had difficult difficulty with um, some of her lines, but other than that, no, she was always a pure joy. Yeah. Oh, Christina Applegate, entrance music for every scene. That was the, that show was so fun to do. Not uh, and Christina is obviously such a lovely person, but she always made sure that there was entrance music whenever we started a new scene. So I remember there being a lot of like Kanye and stuff like that. Everybody was lovely on that show. Chase, I got, I got to hang out with him a bit, but you know, that was that, that was the last year of that show. Everybody had one foot out the door there. I would, I'd be there, I'm like, hey, so where is everybody? Aren't we shooting something today? And they were, everybody was almost, they were almost out the door at, at that point. But very lovely, I had a good time on that too.